all right man so look i know uh i know we've been doing a lot of side stuff lately so we're gonna do this one and then we're gonna go and do the next uh we're gonna we're gonna talk to the Porsche. all right so we know we're actually gonna go to a main mission after this one we're gonna do that in this video i zowie let's get into it oh good you're safe or when have I ever actually been in some real danger? Like, come on, let's, let's not act like I ain't him. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. All right. I ain't gonna lie, Loki did wanna say they might be too hostile because when me and Poppy first ran into them, when we first ran into them, man, they was not messing with us, Loki. Like they really, it really wasn't. Those are the little, uh, the centaurs are the, uh, half horse, half person, human things, right? Either way, man, let's go talk to this portrait. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, <sighs> most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. 
Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Oh, damn. We got... Yeah, get inside the portrait. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. You're gonna get in there by being a little damn deviant. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go. Let's go speak to Fig. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Yo, they really got me, man. They crazy. I just drank the poly juice on Professor Black. Oh, I can't use my, uh, I can't use my, my I was about to say. Yeah. All right, Do so you I have can't... a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. <laughs> Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can uh. drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student? Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. 
Now, oh, that's crazy. To determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Has uh, anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. I thought You're... I heard the headmaster approaching. What do you want, Weasel? Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you Weasley. doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor! Yes, of course! All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? Uh, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Yo, this is, I ain't gonna lie, this is hilarious. Oh, there's one for my diary. For your diary? You ain't gonna go too crazy on that boy. I ain't, this is hilarious. Don't the uh, polyjuice potion only last if like you must speak 30 with minutes, consult right? Consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Yo, how are ominous you right... Call that um, wrong. It is very wrong. You know what? Actually, I guess since he's, uh, you know, since, professor, you know, we're in magic, I guess he could, you know, talk out like his paper. I speak with you, Professor. Of course, it's about professor Quidditch. Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes, sir a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. I mean, I think it is dumb that you want to end Quidditch, man. Although, that is a dangerous game. I wonder game. almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Like that? When I say that's a dangerous game to have them kids playing, but it sure as hell look fun. I hope fun. it's not about anything I've been doing. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Yeah, look at that. I guess if Something I didn't help her, she wouldn't know about me. I'm just looking for my elf. Everybody wants to say there's something wrong with me. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Professor. Oh, here she comes. Please. Mm -hmm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, 
Professor Weasley, how, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. And that is crazy how on, like, you a really want to know what I'm doing. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that man. Hey, you need to clean this up. Like, why would you do this then? That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. What? A, forget Professor Fig. She know about everything we doing. She started listing off stuff like. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. Scrope! Oh, a greetings, master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ugh. I ain't gonna lie, I thought I was... What's this? Uh, the polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <coughs> Honestly, I, I, I did not think he was gonna think of saying, uh, don't speak of this conversation. I, in my head, I was like, yo, I really hope he does, uh, you know, <sighs> come up with something. Time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. We about to be in there like swimwear. Yes. <laughs> Alright man, let's go speak that password to the gargoyle. But this is a uh so this is a different day. Like days in advance. Like <laughs> um, I broke it up. I don't know. But look, so what I'm what I'm trying to do, right, is in order to Keep a good consistent flow going. I want to do a bunch of recording, a bunch of editing, and a bunch of uploading before I necessarily instead of just like because what I would normally do is I would upload, edit, render. I mean no, I would record, edit, render, upload. That would take a take a little minute then. Um same process over and over again. So I feel like this will help me a lot if I just, you know, instead of I I think it would just be best if I have a a, a good amount of videos out before you know, I started to publish them. <laughs> yes, I told you. What is this? You're very clever. Clever. Oh, I, I don't have enough yet. 
possibly. But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. Yeah, but so if I, uh, if I have a, if I, if I stack the videos, <laughs> so y'all probably will notice that the, uh, amount of videos in each playlist are like been gradually going up. I just haven't been publishing them yet. It kind of, it kind of messed up my consistency. I was doing real good. Like from Callisto to syndicate to like beginning of Hogwarts, it was, uh, it was going actually really good, but recently I haven't really been able to, you know, keep the flow going. So. I think this is like the best method, low key. Yeah. And then that way, like I could, I could like, you know, have more time to do shit. Like, to, like to plan out like what videos I want to do next. Revelio. I synced it. I wish I would fight a troll with armor. They already tanky enough. What's this? Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows this special award upon seventh year Hugglepuff M Mirabelle Garlic from Mandrakes to Mistletoe and b whatever the fuck that say to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work and flora has exceeded all expectations. When they gonna put my name up there? I plan. <laughs> It's a good little distance, Headmaster. Jesus. The attention to detail is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like this and Eldering. So far, like I know Eldering ain't come out 2023, but wait, did Hogwarts ain't come out 2023 now. I don't think. I could be tweaking, but like I don't know. Out of these last few months, well, Eldering not in the last few months. But look. This and freaking Elden Ring. That's where I need to speak. There's some of the craziest. Uh, Rebellion. Me this. <laughs> some of the craziest world design I've seen so far. Toujours pure. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Oh, hold up. A lot to get into in here. Hey, look at the, the little hat. Oh, we can't get in there. <laughs> it's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? He up there was passed out. Wake up. <laughs> Oh wait, all of y'all are asleep. Oh god, that's <laughs> hair tonic, mustache wax. Oh wait. <laughs> let me get me get some fruit before our journey. That must be the pedestal. Look, then Professor smash my ass up. Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Leave. Me? You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Yo, this is hard. I ain't gonna lie. Like we're actually the first in a book. You will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. So 
death is just out here slaughtering people. I can't fight them. Gotta go through this door. I don't think they paying attention to me. I ain't gonna lie, this is really cool. I ain't gonna, what in the world? I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Best move while I can. Oh God. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. You know, but hold up. Perfect. Perfect. This. I see a staircase straight ahead. You see me for real, Mr. Skeleton Man? Mr. Grim Reaper? Oh my god! <laughs> He came in looking real sinister. Like why they why they got him looking like that? Don't worry, I'm gonna get you a body. And that dude up there that was crying. Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Got their own pack of wolves. They call them death dogs. They're gone for now. I need to get bro, out of there. You tripping, bro? They about Where to get you. Be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Hang on, I, this one look a little, a little more tricky. That's where I need to go. Wait, wait, wait. I need to find a way past them. I can't really I can't use my um my spells. I tried to distract them with the uh like hitting the wall over there, but can't do it. You just gotta be patient. You just gotta be patient and wait. You know, a part of me didn't really think this game was gonna be all that good. <laughs> Nothing this way. Oh my God, you right there. There must be a way to find you. Wait, 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 I wait, need to wait. Turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Yo, I was, I was scared tight. for a second. No way but forward, I suppose. Well, I'll take that. Don't need. Only, hello, is that another one? Oh, no, that's a lantern. But a part of me ain't think this game was gonna be all that good when I first got it, man. I thought it was really gonna be like some, some cash grab type stuff. And then they were hearing about like this was their, you know, their first game they made as a collective. I ain't really, I had high expectations, but like I had, you know, I was, I was sitting in reality, you know. But so far this game has been like damned good. Like now's my chance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the way forward. Can I go? I was about to say, yeah, me stuck for a second. Mysterious clip. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Oh, so we did get the clue. Holy snap! I mean, <laughs> I, I thought the uh, I thought the clue was like a little, you know, like they was just gonna lead out with Harry type stuff. But I guess we do get the invisibility clue. 
thought all we, we was gonna get was um I can't think of the name of the spell. Where? Oh, it's an open gate right in front of my face. Why ain't I walk through it? <laughs> Let me just see if something back here. I don't even think I can go here. I can't go back there. It's an invisible wall. So with the invisibility cloak, they just can't they see me. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. Look at this dude. Big as hell up there. Looking deadly. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? run death thus far but have yet to find me keep searching but this time you will be unable to hide wield the wand you see before you do not squander its extraordinary power What the heck? Why did it change my uh? Bombada. Well, I guess this is for. I guess this is specific for this uh. I don't know, cause yeah, I guess this has to be specific for the mission because I can't even pick spells. These are just the ones they gave me. <laughs> Did I just get a damage pop? Did they did they really just buff my my damage? Am I really gonna be be him? Cause the the little basic attack was it was starting to become ineffective. I mean, it really was just ineffective, Loki. Stupid Oh my god. I hope this is this for the mission. I hope I'm really this strong, Stupid. man. That would be crazy. Defender, bombarder. Stupid one. Descender. Oh, I'm really him in the books. Defender. I'm really like that in these books. Hold up, it's more. Bombarder. But I hope that damage buff is permanent, bro. I really hope it's not. I, I I know it's not permanent, but the guy can hope. She gave me a new wand. It might be the basic attack might do more damage now. That's all I really want. All the other stuff you can keep the same. Oh hey. Why he walk off like he really am? Hey. 
I was about to say, when my uh, ancient magic was going to come out. Defender. Stupid. Stupid. Bombarda. Defender. You got for me, Doug? That's what the fuck I thought. Had <laughs> to let Death know I'm really him. You know, if he want to come down here and challenge me, you gonna have to come ready. Cause, cause I'm one with the wizardry. I ain't even using no plants. I ain't using no herbs or nothing like. Ah, she said my journey is far from over. <laughs> She's gone. Leaves dead. And I tried. I tried everything Dear I could to keep y'all safe. <laughs> but it May just, her memory be a treasure. It just didn't work head. out in my face. Oh my gosh! Just waiting for me. You ain't got nothing to say. He, he seen the work I put in. Is that her? Neem? You found me. 
but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Alright. What happened, Neem? But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Yeah, and then why she, uh, why is it Doris and they did her father like that? Remember that as you witness my memory. Like that statue you fight at the beginning of God of War 2. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw can... what I did for my father. Mia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Isadora seemed like she finna be a problem that we gonna have to deal with. Well, unless they already did, so. I can see where Isadora's coming from, though. Like, her, her beliefs the aren't not warranted. Countless times. Never. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, 
The knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. The Hallowed Hero wield a deathly hallow. Hi, man. I think that'll be yeah. it for this one. Let's see if we get some mail, though, from an owl. You know, those usually just be randomly. Here we go. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Now, personally, where he at? Let me talk to you, because you ever heard doubt in me? Like I haven't completed all other three of these trials. Get some help. <laughs> I'd seen the car's tower countless times. Never suspected it held the secrets it did. Well, that's on you, Professor Fig. You ain't special. Look, man, I'll see you guys in the next one. I got a death. Peace.